What are you seeing right now, Gladys? What's happening in Chelsea? These people have been here, some of them, from one o'clock and we open at six. So long lines everywhere, people looking for food. This is our community, very hardworking community, a community that works in the hotels, landscaping, construction. And look at this line and I'm gonna continue to walk with you. And they're very respectful. They respect the distancing. And they're here, rain or shine, looking for food because the need is so great. You think the people that are here, all ages, they, they do landscaping, they do construction, they work in hotels, they build Massachusetts, and they're not here hanging out. They're here because they have a huge need, and the need is food. And I, every time I go home, all I do is pray that we get more resources and that I'm able to feed everyone here. Today I slept three hours. And I don't care because I was so nervous that I wasn't going to have food. But look at this night. We have to make sure that we put in enough money for communities like Chelsea. Poor communities. So that yeah. the money goes directly into Chelsea so that there are our resources that the city has, the city manager has, you have, in order to take care of all these people. When you go to sleep tonight, think about the meal that you will have and that these people will probably not have. This coronavirus is a big setback uh, and it's actually exposed a lot of the uh, inequality, a lot of the racial bias that exists in the United States of America. I'm asking for an investigation by the Department of Health and Human Services of these racial uh, differences in terms of who's contracting coronavirus, yes. who's dying yes. from it. Uh, Very true. But, but it also is exposing the fact that poorer people are more vulnerable. They have they have underlying health care conditions, makes them more vulnerable. Uh, people are lining up for food, so that's obviously a, a question of food insecurity that actually ultimately affects people's health as well. And so you've been talking about these issues since the day I met you, Gladys. And, uh, and you are an inspiration uh, to uh, me and I think anyone who is seeing you. And I will do everything I can to help you, Gladys. And I hope everyone who is watching this does so as well.